get books from the library API. Now that we have the workspace and the collection set up, let's go ahead and get all the books from the library API and create our very first request. So let's go ahead and look at the steps in the academy and execute them in Postman. Now if you scroll down a little bit, here you can see we can click on this add a request hyperlink and create a new request and add the URL right here. So let's copy this URL. Let's go to Postman and click on this add a request. Name it get box. Here you can see the method is going to be get. More about the methods in the academy later on. Now let's add the URL which we copied. Make sure there are no spaces. Hit save and hit send. As you can see, we received a 200 OK response, which means the request successfully got executed. And we also see JSON returned back with the values of name of the book, you know, the status, the title, the author, and all other details available right here. You can see there are so many books in this library. Awesome. Let's learn more about these requests and responses. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, remember I saw you, the, uh, I told you about the method get. Now, what are the methods and why we use them? Methods are nothing but they are action verbs. There are multiple methods like get, post, put patch and delete. These are the commonly used methods. There are more methods than these, but for our use case, we are only going to rely on these. And we are going to do CRUD operation, create, read, update, and delete. Now the get methods allows us to read information. Post method allows us to add information on the server. Put and patch allows us to update information and delete method allows us to delete information on the server. It's as simple as the names itself suggest. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the URL itself. And the URL is also divided into three parts. The first part is the protocol. What protocol it is following? Is it HTTP, HTTPS, WS, which represents WebSocket? And then comes the host, which is the domain name, you know, which is basically the IP address where your server is exactly located, right? Uh, if it is in the US, then you will have, you know, an IP address which points it to that particular location. And then the path, which is basically where the exact resource is located, right? So we are trying to access books on this server. So that's what the path redirects us to. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will also see status codes. Now, if you remember here in Postman, we saw the status code as 200 OK, which meant that the request was successful. But there are other status codes as well. And these are grouped into families. For example, 200 or 200 family. 200 family means successful family. All the status code there represents successful execution of the request. Then comes 300 family, which is where redirection happens. There are different forms. Then comes 400 family. This is where the error happens. Now 400 family represents user error, meaning that we have made the mistake and not the server. And then comes the 500 family, which basically means the server has made the mistake and we have done everything right. So these were an overview about methods and status code.